Hey guys, it's Sunday, November 7th, and I decided that I would vlog my week for you guys. So, um, I just ate breakfast, but I have to go... I have to work on a group project in half an hour, but I have to run to Sainsbury's to get some, like, paper towels and cereal and stuff. So I'll see you guys there. It's actually, like, crazy nice out. It was, like, 40 last week, um, but the past few days it's been high 50s, which is, like great because I'm tired of working outside in the cold. It's a good thing Sainsbury's is closed because I always refuse to buy bags and forget to bring my own so here we are. What's the vlog about? Just London this week. Oh you know London is cold this week. Crazy nice out. We're working on Synergy Project. It's gonna be really good. Hey. How you feeling? Good. <laughs> good. I'm excited for our synergy project. Good. She's looking good. I will say my bladder is full. <laughs> I just, this is such a boring background. I'm gonna look. My room isn't just blank. I watched two movies. Did my laundry. Um. Now I have to go make dinner. <coughs> they get COVID tests. I don't have COVID. Everyone is sick right now, like in our house, like half the people in our program are sick. Um, I've been taking COVID tests all week. I think I have one here. Yeah. I don't have COVID. I just, you know. I'm gonna take a COVID test. Yay. Oh, shoot. I opened this before I put that. Mm. Fine. This is great. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, I watched two episodes of Sherlock and still haven't made dinner. But I just learned that Nathan vlogs. Which I know. It looks good. Ethan, say hi to the vlog. Now I'm feeling competitive. Let me put it out. I don't know. I'm gonna check. Are you still gonna make tacos? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> A wreckage. <laughs> Taco dinner. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming over. Hell yeah. How you feeling? So good. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have COVID, so. Hello, it's Monday. I was rudely woken up by the fire alarm at noon. Um, it's a pretty typical London day out. Very cloudy. That's what that means. But I don't think it's gonna rain. It's not too bad. It's like 50 degrees, which is good because we have globe today. And if it would be cold, that would not be good. So I have to do my laundry, um, go to Boots if I have time, but I'm probably gonna put that off till tomorrow. Um, and right now I'm going to go work on Synergy some more with my group project, project partners, you know what I mean. I'm just as bad at real ironing as I am at fake ironing. In Europe they, um... <laughs> the washers and dryers are together, but the dryer doesn't work, it's a bit, so you have to just air dry everything. And it's like very wrinkled, so I iron everything after I dry it.
No more ironing. You don't get to see that. You get to see my face. I'm not going to boots, I've decided. Globe fit. See that? Huh? No, I'm just asking. There it is. We're on a break. We're in the Sackler. Um, about 45 minutes before our uh, voice session. We just did movement. Eating my tacos. Last night. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. It wasn't too cold on the globe. Sometimes it's real cold. Last week it was like really, really cold. But it was okay too. Just got done at the globe. Um, did some truly mediocre work. Correct. <laughs> Anya sucks today, everyone. I did so bad. No, that's not but true. But I'm no, here to Anya say did so good. that it's so that you win some and you lose some. And Anya wins and every fine. single one. And I have, I today was a draw. I'm not gonna call it a lose, but today, today was, was a, a draw. W for Anya. For Anya. It was an L for me. It was a W for Anya. <laughs> Hi from London. Hey. Did I make it? Yeah. I'm at the vlog. What's going on? No. That's on the 22nd, guys. <laughs> it's like a um 25 minute half hour walk. Um, to and from the globe, from where we're staying at least, on Ailey Street. Um, so I like to walk home. It's so pretty. Yay. This tree was not walled off until about a week ago, I'd like to point out. Uber boat. I'm in Sainsbury's, trying to act normal, but I'm never normal, so it's really hard. Peppers on sale, oh yeah. I like, kinda had dinner um, at the Globe, but I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have a little popcorn and an apple that I bought at Sainsbury's. And then I'm gonna work on my Mutlog. And then I'm gonna work on my Globe lines. And then we move back. Probably at 3 a.m. <clears throat> Today is Wednesday. Um, it's 10.30 a.m. I got woken up by the fire alarm again. This time at 9. Which is great. Um, I got rush tickets to see Wicked tonight. Which I'm excited for. Uh, the cleaning lady comes on... Did I say it's Wednesday? It's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. The cleaning lady comes on Tuesdays at like around 11 or 11.30, so I don't have class until 2 today, but I like leave when she comes, so I'm not in the way. Oh, oh, hi. I am on my way to Kappa. Um, my class doesn't start for two hours, and it's only like a 45 minute commute there, but I'm just gonna hunker down and do some work. Find the gap between the train and the platform. I always check my mail and I never get any mail. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> we get 40 pounds every week, which usually you're supposed to get it on Mondays, but we have Globe class on Mondays, so we just go down to the basement and get it whenever we want.
I'm in the next classroom over because I don't want to disturb Dari, but like, should probably, you know, go over my monologue before performing it. We're working on Shakespeare monologues with Michael Fry. Um, five people went last week. Five will probably go today, and then probably five tomorrow. Nope, we have 22 people, not 15. Lunch. That she repeals him for her body's lust. So will I turn her virtue into pitch, and out of her own goodness make the net that shall enmesh them all. Yvonne, our um, voice teacher, keeps being like, sugar's bad for you, sugar causes inflammation, you all have an addiction to sugar, and I'm like, look, I believe science. When it comes to sugar, I think I don't. <laughs> I'm so healthy, the way I eat. Jeez. Um, this frosting expired in 2019. 2019. So, um, I'm gonna put it in a blender and that's my decision. It still smells like frosting, but it looks like ice cream. So that's it's a ranch cricket. I'm running my piece. Please stay. Um, I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? Do you want me to not eat while you're recording? No, please eat. Okay. Please eat. How am I then a villain to counsel Cassio to this parallel course directly to his good? Divinity of hell. When devils will their blackest sins put on, they do suggest at first with heavenly shows, as I do now. Oh, I got distracted by Issa. They do suggest at first as with heavenly do. shows, as I do now, to make the net that shall enmesh them all. Well, I forgot my line in the middle, but it's fine. How good was that, man? Yeah, so I guess all it is. So, follow for follow, hashtag the lesson. So, like, Kensington is really lovely. Kensington's really lovely. Lovely. That's what I meant. Everyone here is rich as shit. They're so rich. Hey, Kappa. Go See you tomorrow. Oh, yes. Thunder, you want to say hi to the vlog? Yes. Hi, vlog. How was today? Today was so great. We worked with Michael Fry and discovered that one of his friends voiced one of the Teletubbies. So we got connections. Beware. We don't know which one, though. <laughs> so, yeah. All of them. All of them. Wait, wait, wait. I got to show him this. In my bag. A camcorder? What is this? 2007? Watch out. Okay. Him. Dipsy. <laughs> Dipsy talk. Tune in. I had dinner. Now I'm going to see Wicked. And I won't be recording because that's illegal. Fit check. I'm not wearing shoes yet. That's okay, we're coming back yeah, up be. anyways. <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. I love you. Love you more. Just got back from late. well actually, no. Got back from Wicked like an hour ago. Um, it was really good. Not true to the canon at all, but I really enjoyed it still. So yeah, it was really fun. I'm glad I went. Um, I read, we got our script for um, our, what is it called? Qu Chorus E Project? Valley Fair by Tylee, I don't know what his last name. I was coughing a lot during Wicked and I wanted to say to the person next to me that I don't have COVID, I have a cold, but it did not come up, so... Hopefully she's fine. I have a morning class tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to go to bed early, but I never 
do. I never do. Bye. It's Wednesday. I hate being up early. I'm so tired. Why would anyone do this? I look kind of rough too. <sighs> Time to go to school. Just got off writing in the city. Um, I'm in the street theater by myself because it's um, like an hour and 20 minutes before our class starts. So I'm gonna eat lunch and then we're rehearsing synergy. Then we have a voice class with, who's our voice class with? Uh, What's her name? <laughs> Barbara, Barbara Hausman. Hausman. Barbara Hausman. Yeah, really. I should have known that. <laughs> um, and then we have more Shakespeare monologues with Michael Fry, where I'm actually going to go today because I didn't go yesterday. Yeah. Billy just got these thick ass Crocs. Yeah, but you can't put like the Croc charms on them. They're the Beams Japan uh, Croc. Collab. Those are so sick. They're inspired by hiking and fishing. Put, put them in, put them in as leisure be, mode. As can be noted by the pocket and this little webbing here. They just unzip like that, and then you grab what you need. <laughs> I'm a very happy man today. We said class with Barbara Hausman. He's a genius. Like, Super smart. Like, oh my god. He's so smart. These are so comfy, it's not even the Whoa! Can I get a fillet, please? Can I need a fillet, please? Bread! Loaf! Can I get a loaf of love? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello! Wait, Actually, how was Barbara Hausman? Oh my, wait, legit though? She's kind of a magic she woman. Is. She is kind of a magic woman. I w like literally would have her as my general practitioner. Like she's kind of, she knows. <laughs> her and Yvonne would be a tag team of health. Literally. She taught me how to run without getting tired. I know. That was insane. Wow, that I swear, I wrote down like every other sentence she wrote. Yeah. It was like a treasure show. My favorite show, she's like, we'll our see. instrument is used for social survival, and we need to allow ourselves to like be vulnerable to not surviving. I'm like, oh my god. When did she say that? Like really close to the beginning. Yeah, she got deep right away. Girl. And I'm like, social survival is like, violinists don't need to bash other people with their violin. Out here in London, they got this thing called a cheese baton. <laughs> it's a bread loaf like this big. <laughs> Just a bunch of cheese that was like way overcooked and crispy and delicious. And it's 50 fucking cents. 50 pence. Heard right here, guys. 50 pence for a cheese baton at Sainsbury's. It's so good. They're actually so good, like no cap, they're so good. What's good? Um, you know, here we are at my crib. Um, the Cromwell New. Um, damn. <laughs> I guess I've been evicted. My looks actually went super well today. Uh, I was like, this, this my log is getting thrown out as soon as I'm done with this. But I might actually add it to my book. I might mess around and add Iago from Othello to my monologue folder. My book. You know what I mean. How was class today, Jake? Um, it was really good. Very long. I had class from 9.30 this morning till 8 p.m. Oh yeah, we're both in writing in the city. Yeah, so long day of class. It's been pretty good. When he was like a child by going to a construction site that was through the woods in his backyard. He's talking about Matthew McConaughey. Bring back a couple of pieces of wood at a time. They assembled a tree house. What a chiller. Hello. Hi. I'm not obsessed with that kind of The way that we're always all in St. I love it. Satan's not. Making cookies. Hell yeah. I'm running late because I decided to keep snoozing my alarm and then woke up half an hour later than it was supposed to. 
Yeah, yeah, this is definitely not gonna hold you off till eight. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. I have a bar. My face is oily. <laughs> I never get any mail, and I always look at my little mailbox, and it's always empty. Um, and it reminds me of this bit in Frog and Toad the Musical. Toad? Yes, Frog. I was just wondering, did you get any mail today? No, I did not, Frog. Toad? Yes, Frog. I'm just curious, did you get any mail today? <laughs> no, I did not, Frog. I never get any mail. <laughs> <laughs> I never get any mail. Papa Sweet Lounge. Dude, that's a district line? Bro. Oh, I know the district line came next to Kappa. Cool as heck. I like rewatched it and I'm missing a word. See, here's the thing with that. Listen, if they don't want you over that, they didn't want you to begin with. Right, Y'all headed? There. We're waiting for Henry. Oh, Henry, but he's doing a slow poke. Oh, I'll wait for you guys. Thank you. Sorry, I'm, my camera's just like. No, it's okay. <laughs> Hey vlogger. <laughs> hey, I'm here at the Globe today. Dari's gonna open the mouth and kiss me like <laughs> What did you say? No, turn it off, turn it off. It's just crazy out here, I'm telling you. There's bitches on every corner selling the babies for gummy bears. Gummy bears. I do it too, but uh, I'm not there yet. This is Dariana, she's my little sidekick, you could call her. She's got a... A B minus in mathematics, which is uh, good enough for me. This vlog has really devolved, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Ashley. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Um, hello. Hi. Thanks. I just like it. I think it's cool. We just got done with class. It's going really well. So. in the Sackler right now. Waiting for Jaden to get out of the bathroom. Oh, oh, I thought Jaden was about to get hit by that bus. Are we gonna get hit by this bus? Yes! Chipotle. I'm sorry, old sport, I thought you knew. I'm Chipotle. In case you're wondering, it is chip of lead. Because what, what, how are people going to pronounce it? 
Chipotle. Chipotle. I just watched the Cats movie for the first time, which, oh my god, <laughs> why did they do that? It's so, it's so bad and wrong in so many ways. I... Today is Friday. Um, I don't have much to do today except a Zoom meeting for our Valley Fair reading, which is at 3, I think. Two or three, I'll have to check. Um, but until then, I'm just gonna be chilling at home. It's like bright out, but very cloudy. You see? Like usual London. I think it rained earlier. Usual London day. Isabel's filming um, self tapes for summer stock in our living room. So I'm just gonna be chilling out in here. Um, it's. What time is it? This is an awful something start to this PM take. It's like 7 or something. Um, we had our reading for Valley Fair. It's actually like pretty funny. I like it. Um, any any words, friends? Ferris wheels. Ferris wheels. Who's? Who's Harvey. playing the Ferris wheel? What? Harvey? Principal Harvey? Was oh, that Principal him? Harvey. Yeah. We're going to Pizza Union. Which is the pizza place that's a block and a half from where we live. And it's so good. They don't know how to cut a pizza, but it's really good. Billy and Leo. What do we want, Billy? We want snow. We want snow right now in Minneapolis. We want it to cover the entire globe like an ice age. And then when spring comes around, we want it to melt and bring tropical breezes and seagulls to everywhere on the planet. And then we want it to go back to the ice age so we can play ice hockey in the street while cars are driving into ditches and explosions are happening while I get a goal while playing on my skates. I miss hockey and snow. I'm so sad. Give me hockey or give me death. I just want the vaccine. They're vaccinated. Don't worry, folks. Hi, it's Saturday. Let me tell you the worst part about my body. I sleep here, right? This is my room. I plug my phone in here at the foot of my bed. And that is because I have the amazing, super helpful superpower of being able to turn my phone alarm off when I sleep. I am able to do anything in my sleep if it keeps me from waking up when I don't want to wake up. I don't sleepwalk, I don't sleep talk, except to turn off my alarm in the morning. I do not know how I even do a math problem on my phone without waking up, but I managed to do it. All of this to say that um, it is currently <clears throat> almost 7.30 at night. Anya, why didn't you vlog today? Well, here's the reason. We had a reading for our, um, a workshop slash reading for our play, Valley Fair, today at 3 p.m. I went to bed at 3 a.m. I know because I sent a text and then I immediately went to bed and that was at 2.55 a.m. So I went to bed around 3. I set my alarm for 10.30. So, you know, not like the most sleep in the world, but seven and a half, half hours should be enough should be enough to get up. I wake up at 3.04 p.m. to my roommate Ashley at the door being like, Anya, are you coming to the reading? With my phone, not on the floor, but right there on my bedside, my alarm turned off, done in my sleep. And that's it, I'm, ten, I'm like 11 minutes late. I'm just like, why? Why am I able to do that? Why am I able to do that? I've always been a good sleeper. I like being a good sleeper because like, I'll sleep through basically anything, but I hate sleeping through my alarm. Why can't I turn my alarm off in my sleep? Anyways, um, whenever the Synergy Mentors for the other group has COVID, so I have to take a COVID test. I have to, I should be taking two tests a week anyway, so like I should have taken another test this week, but I forgot. So I'm taking a COVID test now. God, I'm angry. I just had corned beef hash minus the hash for dinner. 
so a can of Spam that I heated up, um, and I'm going to Sainsbury's because I need cereal. And we'll probably get some ice cream. Look at these giant apples, bro. This is actually really interesting. Have you guys ever seen a positive COVID test? I'm joking. It's negative. I don't have COVID. That was a joke. <laughs> so it's night now. Sorry, this last day of vlogging was so anticlimactic. I wanted to do something fun, but I slept in, so... No. Uh, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. And that'll be the last day. We'll just do Sunday to Sunday. And I'll do something fun. I'll wake up and do something fun. See you tomorrow. Bye. It is Sunday. Um, I got ticket. I got rush tickets to see Back to the Future, which is very exciting because um, Ashley and someone <laughs> saw it like over a month ago, I think, um, and they gave rave reviews. So I'm very excited to see it. Um, that's at three. It's 11 a.m. now. I'm going to eat some breakfast, take a shower, take another another COVID test. And then we'll see where the day takes us. My hair is still wet and I don't know what I want to wear to this show. Which is really not okay because I have to be the hottest person in this theater. Not for any specific reason, I just do. Or at least the best dressed. <laughs> not that it's like really a competition, but if it were, I am winning. <laughs> where did I put my bow tie? I got it. I can barely tie a tie. Of course I can't tie a bow tie. It's one of my downfalls. I look pretty good if I do say so myself. And I do. A rare occurrence, really. Back to the future outfit. I'm gonna miss my train. It's also right next to where I saw six. Okay, just got out. That was literally like the perfect musical. Now, while we're waiting for my COVID test results to come back, which hopefully they're negative because I just went to see a show, let's talk about Back to the Future. Oh my god, it was so good. I. It was like so it was it was very funny and the music was really good and it was just so enjoyable to watch and there was so much tech elements and it wasn't like oh god more tech elements like you know how some shows like try to be too spectacle and then it's like this was not necessary why why is this in here but it was like the show i've seen with the most tech elements where all the tech elements made sense and aided to the story it was like a, a showcase of of how to use spectacle in a show. It was fantastic. Also, the props work was so good. There was so much like lighting and stuff that like, there was the, like, <sighs> and there was a prop that I couldn't figure out, which is very rare, because I can usually figure out how things work. It's like my thing, is props. Um, but there was a point where they're having a fight slash chase scene, you know how they do that in fun 80s movies, um, in a school, and Biff is throwing knives at Marty and George, and he throws four knives. They're not like knife knives, they're like butter knives, but the bit is like that he's throwing knives at them. And the first one, he throws it, he's like 20 feet away, and it go, it wedges into the table, and then the next two wedge into the back of like a food tray that Marty's holding up. And in the fourth, George catches and he goes, I caught it. And I cannot figure out how it works because originally I was like, okay, so 
my initial gut reaction was that they're magnets, right? But that doesn't make any sense because one, then the they wouldn't be full knives. There'd be like a little slant cut out of the slit where the um, where it attaches to the thing. And two, that would mean that that would mean that the actor who plays Biff would have to have marksman ability at throwing knives, which I highly doubt. Highly doubt. And then so. The like fourth one where he throws it and then George catches it makes sense because it's just sleight of hand. He mimes throwing it, the audience's eye leaves him, he pockets it, it goes down his sleeve or something. George catches it, but since the audience isn't looking at them, they're watching the knife, sleight of hand, it's like in his sleeve or something, catches it. So I so that's how the throwing works, it's just sleight of hand, but how I was looking at like the 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 sandwich tray had like there wasn't anything on the other side, like something to push through. I just I want to know how it works and I don't know how. Also, I was thinking about whether they like got a, a real DeLorean or whether they like made one, whether props made one. Fun fact, cars are usually props as far as what I've seen. So I was, originally I was like, oh, that's a real DeLorean when they first showed it because it looks like a real DeLorean, obviously with the like um, science fiction gadgets and stuff to make it a time machine as well. But then there's a part where the, um, the doctor like stands on the hood and then he stands on the top of the car and car hoods and roofs aren't that stable like it didn't move at all it didn't dip or anything which is not super realistic to how a car would react which is not me being like ah criticism because obviously you want the actors to be safe you don't want things to be moving while they're standing on it so then i'm like oh they probably made that car and and put something reinforced to make it more sturdy but then I'm like, it wouldn't be that hard to just replace the hood and roof and gut the part of the back where you need to put the like smoke effects in and just change that compared to like building it all. But I also don't know how much of a uh, DeLorean would cost. Um, if it maybe it's like a billion dollars, I don't know. Maybe it would be cheaper to build it because it looks real good. It looks real good. But then also, but then also it changes at the end. So now I'm thinking, I completely forgot about that. Now I'm thinking maybe they did build it. Bro, I don't know. I've been, help I've been talking about props for six minutes, so... It's really good, though. It's really good. Merlo. We're just trying to what? upload something. Whoa, what the fuck? He's doing it on Ours purpose, is but it's the best, not but it fun. usually works. Quiche like, pals. He was like, you're saying it together. It's not <laughs> below. It's actually really it's good. Below. Would buy the set full price. Which one do you fucking want? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It's the time of day where I drink all of my day's intake of water. As does Isabel. Do you want to say how this week was? Long. We got exposed to COVID. What else did we do? Valley Fair readings. We did the Valley Fair readings. God. Yeah, we did the Valley Fair readings. Those were also long. We didn't get exposed to COVID at those, though. <laughs> we just got exposed to life. Yeah. This week was pretty good. I you guys saw it, so I'm signing off. Bye. I don't know why my camera's doing that. I found a friend in you. has just one cure the friend I found in you you found a friend in me one on whom you can depend true and just until Just one cure The friend I 
fell 